by now you know that Sig Sauer is also an optics company. And we have a couple new ones from SIG Optics. Max, let's talk about the Romeo 2 first. Yeah, the Romeo 2 is great. It's extremely modular. So what I mean by that is you can run it similar to a Romeo 1 or a Romeo 3, which is more of like an open reflex sight for competitive mm. shooting or range usage. But you can also set it up for duty as well. We have the half shroud, the full shroud, and we can even fully encapsulate it to make it completely durable. Yeah, super durable when you put that shroud on there. Now, what about mounting that? So this has the same footprint as the Romeo 1 Pro, so anything that's compatible with the Romeo 1 Pro as well as the SIG Pro Cut slides. Very cool. Now, the one I have is what I'd call a full-size red dot. This is the Romeo 8. Steel shroud around it, super durable. A couple cool things about it, 100,000 hours of battery life. That's a lot of battery life. <laughs> 10 really plus is. years, whatever it might yeah, be. Yeah, 10 years or so. Um, it has all the adjustments you'd have on a full-size red dot, which would be like adjusting the brightness, but also multiple reticles. So you've got the dot, you've got the dot with the circle. You even have an MOA with multiple dots for distant, different distances, which is really cool. SIG Optics, let's talk about that for a second. You guys are really bringing on these optics engineers to develop this stuff. Right, so I mean, we have the best of the best. And I truly feel that our optics are amazing. And it's because of the people behind the optics, right? So everything is designed and developed right here in the US and it's really what separates it from everything else. We're not just SIG putting our name on somebody else's optics. We are truly an optics company. Yeah, I love red dots. Let's get them to the range. Max, two different flavors of red dots, the Romeo 8, the Romeo 2, but you've got a cool target. We're gonna run through some drills and kind of show how these optics work. Right, so this is my target here that I utilize for training and for new shooters to get out there or anyone running concealed carry or whatnot. So, especially when you're running a red dot, you're trying to learn how to find that red dot. Yeah. So the first drill that I have is the larger circle on the top. I'm gonna to work on just simply presenting the pistol out to the target, locating the dot, and breaking one shot. Okay. I'll do that for three reps, and then I'll finish up with one rep of five shots on a single target so I can learn how to track that dot in recoil as well. Okay. All right, so yeah. you just give me a up command, I'll just go out and fire. Up. 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 All right, and last one. Up. Now, how is it looking through the glass on that? So exactly, so that's exactly what we're trying to do, is we're trying to locate the dot on the way out. So with a large field of view, an extremely clear lens. With the Romeo 2, it's similar to the Romeo 1 or the mm -hmm. Romeo 3 with that premium lens. Extremely clear, very bright red dot with several illumination settings for any environment. And I can pick up that dot so cleanly and clearly because of that. I notice the same thing on the Romeo 8. Looking through it, it's very clear and I have a big field of view, which I like this. We're at five yards, we're close. We're close. We're yep. close. Now, what's the drill you have for me? So the next drill I have for you is what I call the X drill. So I want you to start, we're working all triangles here. So I have them set up on all corners of the target. Gotcha. You're gonna shoot bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right, for one round each on the up command. All right. Ready? Ready. Up. Oh, offset, offset. The offset will get you, and that's why I love having this target at three <laughs> to five yards, because you can learn an awful lot about your red dot. All right. So now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left. All right. Ready. Ready. Up. There we go, and just like that, after one drill, you realize, hey, I have a little bit of offset here, but by having that large field of view, how was it being able to locate those triangles? It was really easy. I was shooting both eyes open. Also, I switched it to the reticle with the big circle with the dot in the middle, which helped me just go a little faster. Yeah, the big circle kind of gets you there, and then the red dot, the small red dot kind of refines it. Very cool. Some drills for working your red dots with SIG Optics. <laughs> <laughs> 